Hello and welcome if you're new to the channel. My name is Kristen and I moved to Nova Scotia from the United Kingdom in May 2021 with my husband and our two daughters. We have a one acre property that we are slowly developing into a homestead. To support us, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you. First year gardening, I'm just happy with something grows. Turn up with that camera when I'm doing the dodgy, bodgy stuff. Because <laughs> that's what you're doing most of the time. So, homesteading at its greatest, we've just been out to move the chicken tractor and the rabbit tractor in the pouring rain. But it is quite invigorating. So what have you found? Uh, so this is Draco Malfoy, uh, Etty's 4-H rabbit. And Draco's a few ticks on him, so. Oh no. He's got one surfing on his, skull, Look at that. On his nose. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do with it? Oh, uh, we have to get it off before it burrows. And put it in some alcohol, rubbing so, alcohol. So rubbing alcohol, Joe, rubbing alcohol, Etty. You take take the twig tick off to start with. That's it. And then it goes Poor old Draco has a huge one behind his ear. Oh, wow, look at that. That one. Yeah, it's huge. Did you get it all? Yep, so there's the tick there. Look at it. Huge blood filled thing. Yeah. How and long do you think it's been sucking? Put it in there. So, should we so, check his ears in? Looks like a baby and a big one. That might be one there as well, look. Oh, Draco, you're just delicious, apparently. Yeah, then. see that? Oh, is right. it, or is it just a bit of, oh, yeah. Three chicks. So, so what you want to do now is just go over them very carefully, checking them for any, any other bits, okay? Got another one on his eye there. Oh boy. Another one. Where did Four you ticks. One Just look them over like that. Okay. Turn his fur back a little bit. Alright. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Let's check him. Inside. We need to just check you over. We don't want you to get many ticks on you, do we, boy? You've been a good boy. You need to snack after this, don't you? Yeah. Big piece of lettuce. Good morning YouTubers. So it's a nice bright sunny day but we had loads and loads of rain yesterday so that's been really good for the garden so I'll give you a little garden tour in a bit just to show you the updates um, of how the plants are doing. So we're aiming to get the plastic on today and the um, ridge line finished up which will be lovely and then we're gonna have tomorrow off for Father's Day. So um, yeah um, a bit more of a chilled weekend which will be lovely. I'm just sitting here with my morning coffee, taking it in while it's nice and quiet. The uh, children are with Marcus removing a tick from Draco, Etty's 4-H bunny rabbit. Um, and then I think he's butchering four of the seven dwarfs, we call them, um, because their time has come. So yeah, nice quiet day. Quite impressed with with the leeks that we planted. Broccoli looks good. That broccoli does, does it? Yeah. And the cabbage is coming back. I think it. I think uh, the cabbage was quite exhausted from the heat that yeah. we had. So I'm actually pleased we had a couple cool days of rain. Yeah. This looks a little fragile. That one didn't make it then. 
know if it's been chewed or just a bit just a little bit stunted we'll see um, my kale is actually growing it's actually grown massively since we put that in and I didn't know if they would take because they just look so sickly and poorly so I'm quite pleased with that and the mustard cress that's coming up quite big icebergs look happy they still look a little wafty the pumpkins just a little need to find their feet a little bit more but I think it's pretty good Alexis is coming up and the second sowing starting to show through on the potatoes so we can get the potatoes mounded up today right if we come into here got broad beans in here, a couple of rows, and in this six foot bay we've got um, bush bean provider, green beans, we've got a couple there, um, here we've got a row of beetroot, we've left enough, another, enough room to do another row of beetroot so that it's all ready at once, Bridget really likes cooking with beetroot. And it's an autumn favourite of mine as well, summer and autumn favourite. Got cucumbers in here. You get to see. Tomatoes look okay. A few yellowish leaves. We'll get some more um, rabbit poop put around the hay, which would help keep the moisture in. And then we've got the squash and got those pumpkins still to plant but once we've got the plastic up because we're going to plant them sort of outside so they can be like the triffids. Carrot and onion planted here but I think it's supposed to be 7 to 14 days germination so I think it's still probably too early to see anything. Yeah but it feels nice and moist so that's good. Onions and then a line of carrots and I will add more carrots in here as they start to come up. We've got our green beans in here. No, not green beans, corn, sorry. Um, the other ones, they're hiding, hiding in here or they've been eaten. Struggling to see them. There. Give you some light, mate. And then actually sown some more in there as well. So there should be there's about six corn in there and then more seeds and then we've got two lines of parsnip in here and space for something else and these are our strawberries we've actually got a strawberry bed flowers they looked really dead after we planted them split them planted and they're really root bound they look nice and perky now they look a lot better after the rain, they're actually standing up, they looked awful, absolutely awful. And then we've still got this whole bed area to do, and obviously we can expand out from here, but for the first year I'm quite happy with that. I think um, first year gardening, I'm just happy with something grows. Got a nice breakfast got for you. Nice breakfast for you, look. Look at all those slugs. Look, 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 look. What's this? Get him. Really awesome. We need a duck. Betty and I managed to move most of one of the compost piles over so it's out the way of the middle of the garden and it's going to be in its sort of eventual home area. Also gives us a chance to turn it as it's not been turned for uh, a little while now. Um, so it should introduce a bit more air into the compost and get it going again get it nice and hot although it is was measuring as still steady for the temperature and the upside is Etty had a great time driving the lawn tractor I think she's gonna actually miss it when it goes back from being borrowed I am taping the joints where we've got like 
a step. Okay. So that when the plastic's on, it's not going to create friction. Okay. Um, the proper tape you said is like eight bucks a well, roll. Yeah, eight to, well, probably and you're ten with to do tax. the whole bit, are you? Or? Yep. So we're being cheap. I want a pet snake. Where are you going? Please, may I have a pet snake? Oh my god. <laughs> please, 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 please. So what I'm doing is I've just blocked up the ridge beam just with off the head of the window by one, two, three, in, two inch blocks and I put a triangulation brace either side so to sort of triangulate it this way so there's no snow load in that. And then all of these have all been fixed at the top. I'm worried about the sharp edges here, so we're just using some, some duct tape. Uh, shows it quite well, like on that one and that one down there I've already done. But otherwise, there's very little racking in the whole framework. Um, so it should it should take a fair, fair force. So there's triangulation in on all the corner, on the intermediate braces and then once we've got the plastic on, I'll put a triangulation brace off of that one there, down and that one, so it, it sort of, it's triangulated this way as well. Go, 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 go. So we have our first day out in a month. Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, all daddies. The sun is shining. Um, no poly tunnel, woohoo! No, we do it tonight. Marcus did you? It was super lovely to get away and catch up with friends, enjoy spending Father's Day away from work and as you could tell from last week's video we definitely needed some time off so it was great. But then back to the build. It's Monday night and we are doing the night shift. Marcus is just blocking in the end. Get ready to uh, make it a bit more secure, get ready to hang the doors and I'm just uh, checking on the meat chicks. So they're getting, they're getting really big and fat now. Uh, we had one that Marcus dispatched yesterday that was struggling a little bit. Heart failure. Just so big. They just eat so much. So they're only six weeks. Um, and we decided 
to try and limit how much they ate by just having the one feeder and obviously when it's dark it's dark at night so they're not feeding during the night but they still eat so much so i think next time we're going to try rationing how much they have within the day um, and just see if that's a healthier way for them because they will just eat and eat well we had the rain the other day you can see it's much more obvious where they were they probably only got moved once that day rather than twice and uh, it really just concentrated the poop so we really need the other chickens to come down here and scratch through it so at the moment we're putting these logs up against the sides at night since we saw that raccoon just for a little bit extra protection i've not seen any sign of the raccoon since but um, i'm sure it's just waiting for its chance everything's pretty green looks pretty healthy um, the strawberries which were planted latest were looking a little dead they're looking a little bit better this evening the leaves are the right way up <laughs> for the most part and Marcus is building that end wall why do you only ever turn up with that camera when I'm doing the dodgy bodgy stuff because <laughs> that's what you do most of the time that's... this is like mosaic with like the shortest bits of free wood in the world <laughs> this is scrap wood polytunnel <laughs> yeah but I'm doing it with like you like playing Tetris. Everything's got bolts and nails and stuff. It's all good fun. Hey, total spend so far on this build is like 600 bucks so far. That's not bad, is that, it? Yeah, you can't really complain, can you? And most of that was the plastic. I had to buy a stapler, though. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a sunk cost. We won't include that. Although it doesn't show it completely, um, it's like half eight at night, although it's not getting darker, uh, it is late. So we've done these last couple of boards along the bottom, um, as there was uh, room for anything to go through there. Uh, the boards along there as well, and uh, that one there. But Daddy's just packing up tools now. So we're gonna go in. Take a Just order. needs a door now, and also some plastic. I got one. Cool. Got a plastic door. Yeah, that's the door. Right there. And it's been measured to fit in that uh, gap there for the door. Look. See. Yeah. Awesome. Wouldn't it be nice to be planting in a polytunnel that had plastic on it? It would. I'd probably be, be a little bit drier right now. But you know, we can't have it all. What are you planting then? I don't even know. Something small. Choy. So, no, that was at the back. Oh, um, here. Something small. So in this bed you've got Carrots, choy, onions, onions. plant like a salad crop, just a small crop. Well, like lettuce. Yeah, something like that. Look, look at the little chickens. They're just standing from their little little patio, little brooder in their coop, watching us work. Stop I'm afraid there's no turkeys available. <laughs> they were all laughing, there is! <laughs> they were all gone when I got there. Hand the box. How many did you get? Three. Five. I knew you'd got more than three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so cute. Don't come on the perch. Ah. Uh. I need five names. Hello, kiddos. Oh, okay. Cranberry. You can't name five turkeys. I oh, want one named ketchup. The condiments. Cranberry, gravy, ketchup. 
Oh, the little noises. Oh, I forgot their pretty noises. Hello, turkey. <laughs> Are you giving the turkey a tour, Etty? Yeah. This is the veggie garden. You're not allowed in here unless we give you something. So you're just going to be wandering around carrying turkeys now? A new handbag. New handbag. I'm going to try and train one to go on a lead. Uh, do you remember that last time? I'm going to YouTube it properly this time. This is mm. what's called grass. YouTube. Good old YouTube.